Hello my loyal companions, welcome back to the channel. Krumar being the legend that he is over on Twitter has gone through the game files on the PTS and found some new information and new leaks for rogues coming to Rogue Company sometime over this next year. There are five new rogues with varying degrees of information given about them that I'm going to go over and compile into this video so you know what to expect. But just a reminder that this is all leaks and information on the PTS server so it could be subject to change and most likely some things will be but a lot of the core base elements are going to be relatively similar. Let me know in the comments which of the five rogues sound most interesting to you. But for now, guys, if you do go on to enjoy, make sure you drop that like and subscribe to the channel. For now, let's get into it. The game files have alluded to five new rogues coming into the game, and we're expecting to see five new rogues by the end of this year, so this all kind of lines up. Those five rogues are going to be Helena, also known as Switchblade. We're going to have Runway. We're going to have Cannon, Guava, and Pumpkin. Helena we have a lot of information for and that is going to be the primary focus of this video. Runway and Cannon we have a little bit of information in terms of their abilities, maybe their weapons as well. But when it comes to Guava and Pumpkin, both kind of sounding a bit weird, we don't have a lot of information over them other than just their names. This video will not go over any of the cosmetic leaks that he went over, nor will it really touch on King of the Hill ranked. I'm just going to be focusing on the rogues that have been leaked and the information we have on. The first of these rogues then and the one that is most likely to come within phase 2 of the summer roadmap is going to be Helena, also known as Switchblade, which is probably going to be her in-game name. Helena is the rogue that we have the most detail on, including her entire loadout, her gadgets, weapons, perks, and her ability and passive. So we basically have the full idea of this rogue. She should be coming to the PTS server for us to play at some point before her official launch. I'm going to look forward to getting my hands on this rogue. We also have some art for her, so you can see what she looks like and what she's most likely going to look like in-game. Let's go over the interesting stuff and delve deep into what this rogue actually does. Helena is going to be a breacher coming to rogue as the next rogue within the game. We kind of knew this from my conversation with Scott back on one of the recent PTS servers. Her main ability is going to be Chaos Launcher. The description of this ability is that you equip a launcher that fires a Napalm Warhead. On impact, the Warhead deals damage and releases a cluster of Napalm to the area. Now Napalm, if you're not sure, means fire. So this is going to act like a Dima ult incendiary grenade. Whereas you fire it off, it lands and spreads into a cluster. From the image that we have of this ability, it's likely going to be three clusters, very similar to Dima's Merv Launcher, and will uh, put fire in that area. I do kind of expect this to have very similar physics to Dima's Merv Launcher. I'd be surprised if they move too far off of that model, but I don't know how much bounce it'll have, I don't know how much area it'll cover. So we're going to have to wait till we get our hands on to see exactly how this ability works. Her passive is going to be evasive, not to be confused with either elusive, that is Lance's passive, or evade the perk. Evasive is the passive that Helena should have, and this gives her increased movement speed after she uses her ability or a gadget. Now this does kind of bring in the breacher element of this rogue, of you're meant to use that ability, use that gadget or whatever, and then gain a bit of increased movement speed to push to forward towards that target that you've either damaged in some way or zoned off. But what loadout does she have to accompany this sort of breacher mentality? Well, we do know this from the leaks. Also, her two primary weapons are going to most likely be the MLX Mark IV, which is Saints AR, and the 24S, also known as the HRM 24S, which is Lancer's SMG. I actually really like this combination of weapons. You have the AR and SMG standard sort of combo. And I think that those weapons are actually pretty forgiving. And for a Breacher Rogue who is there meant to be pushing and being aggressive, having nice low recoil weapons kind of does make sense within that kit. Her secondary weapon includes the Spitfire pistol, which again accompanies that closer range mentality of this Breacher and a baseball bat as her melee weapon. In terms of gadgets, she has the bounce grenade, which we've seen from Kestrel and Seeker, and also has the flashbangs, which again, I really like this with her passive of these are quick to use pieces of equipment that deal damage very quickly, and you can continue to move off of that given the faster movement speed of her passive. Her perks are the place where I kind of went, okay, hi res, uh, and she's got Berserker, Resist Melee, which I'm assuming is Toughen Up, Bounce Back, Tenacity, Life Drain, and Replenish. Now, on paper, that is a hell of a lot of survivability. Not only do you have Berserker for the quicker sort of movement of that reload, which I think actually works really well with her passive, by the way, I think that makes a lot of sense. You also then have what I think is Toughen Up, Bounce Back, Tenacity, just for the raw survivability. And then should you start fragging out, you have Life Drain and Replenish on top of that. She does seem pretty strong with that perk set. She's definitely got a great perk set to her. And given her weapons, which don't really require a lot of weapon upgrade priority, you'll definitely be focusing on these perks, and I think she could be a bit of a monster in that sense. That's going to be the core loadout of Helena then, the next rogue to enter Rogue Company, this breacher based around fire and movement speed and pushing aggressively onto a site. I like what they did there. I think they kind of almost have made a better Dima is kind of what I'm afraid of because Dima already isn't in a great spot. Um, and so making a Dima that is better than Dima 
my uh might be problematic for that rogue specifically but i think the combination of those two together could be really really deadly i think you throw in a scorch with daddy link in there as well to move through that fire you could have a really good breaching combo my prediction for when helena should enter the game also known as switchblade i think there's going to be her in-game names so i might start referring to her as switchblade is going to be uh, at the start of july time frame wise that would make sense for the roadmap and would also make sense um just generally for the life cycle of new rogues every five to six weeks and that came about three weeks ago so we should expect to see helena in another two or three weeks which puts us around mid early july the next rogue on the list to cover who should be coming at the start of season three based again on that summer roadmap is going to be runway now if you do not know runway is heavily speculated to be the arms dealer that we saw in the initial trailer of rogue company she's the one that basically set up the entire plot line that we have so far of rogue company of Dima and Ronin go into this, this arms dealer event, shoot up outside as Jackal are chasing them. Now Mac has gone to capture and imprison Ronin, which is why she has that Ronin skin. Now he's looking for Dima, which is where Breach came in because he was looking. There's a lot of lore basically, uh, and, and lore is kind of a weird spot. I'm really interested in getting into lore, but I don't think we have enough concrete evidence yet to, for me to do that. But essentially, we're looking at this gray haired lady uh, coming into Rogue Company. And the other kind of reason why people are suggesting this is going to be her is because the title of that initial intro cinematic was Runway. So you can kind of see what they're alluding to. Now, we don't really have a lot of concrete information about what Runway's kit is going to be, but there were some leaks of different abilities and some weapons that I think might match her. And whilst we don't know 100% that it is hers, just based off that evidence, I'm going to make the assumption that it is. The first thing I want to talk about is the leaked ability Supply on Demand, which by just pure evidence of what this ability does, makes me think it's going to be runways. The Supply on Demand ability allows you to deploy a briefcase containing additional ammunition and gadgets. Now do you kind of see why I thought it would link up with this rogue very nicely? This whole rogue's identity is giving ammunition to the rogues within Rogue Company, so the fact that this ability is in the game files makes me think very heavily this is going to be runways. I also think this ability could be really good. The ammunition side of it, not so much. I imagine it's going to work very much like you throw a box on the ground and teammates can go and pick up additional gadgets. I think it's going to kind of act like a resupply replenish combo of, hey, you're going to get a bunch of additional ammo, which isn't that impactful, but it'll also resupply your grenades that you have on there. From a pure strategic sense, this is actually a really good ability. I think using this halfway through a round to resupply someone like a Kestrel or even replace someone like a Dima could be really, really nice. Based just off that ability, my head goes to Runway being a support rogue, which I don't know how that's going to work because most of our traditional support rogues have been healers. So a non-healer support rogue could be interesting, although I do kind of really want another healer to enter the game to change things up slightly. Now, the other kind of thing with Runway that I think could be interesting is her weapon. And again, we don't know if this is her weapon. This is just a leaked weapon within the game files called Hydra. But I'm going to sort of explain why I think this could be her weapon. First of all, this is an arms dealer type rogue. Having a new weapon come with her would make a lot of sense. But also, Helena didn't seem to get a new weapon. So just based off the tradition of Rogue Company, new weapons tend to come every rogue or every couple rogues. So I would like to see a new weapon come with Runway if Helena doesn't get one. And also, this rogue is going to kick off Season 3 with us based off just the time frame of the, of the summer roadmap. So... To add a new weapon in there would also make a lot of sense, and I would kind of like to see this. But let's explain what the Hydra AR does. The Hydra AR is described as a high-caliber assault rifle dealing massive damage over range. So think of this very much as a M4 before it just got nerfed, where it had its range massively cut off. It's going to be a heavy-hitting weapon, very similar to something like the HRM, potentially. That works very well over range, probably having the largest range of any AR within Rogue Company so far. I think this weapon could be really good, especially in the current AR DMR meta. It seems like a really nice in-between potential that it could be too strong so i hope the balancing of this does kind of work out where it's not too obnoxious again that is all speculation on runway's ability and her weapon we don't know anything more on runway but now let's go into another rogue who we i'm going to speculating some things but this is going to be canon now we don't have any information on canon what it looks like what's going to happen although there was this weird sort of image leaked in the game files that i kind of think might aesthetically go out with a rogue named canon and we also got a leak for something called a Gatling gun ability, which, given the name Cannon, you, do you see where I'm making these links? Do you see where I'm going for? The Gatling gun seems to be an ability that when you activate it will equip this weapon known as the Gatling gun, which, according to the description, fires faster the longer it is fired and can be mounted. Mounted weapons are potentially coming to Rogue Company. That sounds like a really, really fun thing about just popping up on a cover. Instead of peeking over, you physically mount it for reduced uh, sort of recoil and more stabilization. This can be really, really good and it winds up more the more you shoot it. There was also a passive leak within the files that I think almost certainly has to go along 
with this rogue and this ability. And this is Conflict Connoisseur, which when landing shots, you have a chance to return ammo to your current magazine. Kind of like a replenish on demand, like as you're shooting, you get bullets back with a chance. So adding RNG finally into the game. And if you're using the Gatling gun, if that's equipped, its duration is extended slightly. So in theory, this ability has a cooldown, it's infinite bullets, and it's getting just fires and fires and fires and fires. But if you start landing bullets, that passive percentage chance of more bullets just gives you more time on the usage of that ability. So you could really mow down an entire team depending on how long this lasts and how long that passive buff is. Unfortunately, that is all we really know about this rogue. There isn't much more information really coming out from the leaks other than the things I've gone over. So I think cannon sounds kind of cool. I like the idea of a Gatling gun. Again, I'm assuming the Gatling gun goes with cannon. It may not. It could go with one of the other rogues. But I think it'd be really cool if you, they lined up cannon, Gatling gun. Again, you, you see where I went there. The other two rogues that have been hinted at towards the game files are Guava and Pumpkin. But unfortunately, we have no information, no other leaked weapons or abilities that we could start to sort of speculate go with these. Again, even Kramar sort of said he's not 100% sure on Pumpkin. Uh, I was kind of trying to think timescale wise, maybe that would come October, but timescale that wouldn't work out. So I don't quite know what these rogues are going to be. These may just be very, very early code names for them. And they'll eventually get one that makes a little bit more sense, a little bit more interesting for us to speculate about. Those are going to be all of the rogue-based, weapon-based, and ability-based leaks covered by Kramar over from his Twitter. Again, go check him out if you have any post amazing leaks with support from the game files. Uh, so definitely go check it out if you are interested in seeing these leaks firsthand. His links will be in the description and is on screen here uh, for you to see. Okay then guys, that takes us to the end of the video. And if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also come follow me on twitch.tv slash raddargaming to see live gameplay commentaries, guides, Q&As, and playing with viewers. I'm also on TikTok, Instagram, and have a second channel, more Raddar, all linked down in the description. For now though guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. And as always, remember, be loyal, be brave, be relentless, and I'll catch you in the next video. Yeah. <sighs>